if you don't know what I'm talking about, help me welcome Kenneth Okonkwo here. Come on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, help me welcome Nana Kasore. And I dare you to welcome the one and only Aisha to yourself. It was an all intriguing moment at the 2023 first election anniversary organized by Labour Party. And we had wonderful guests in the building like Hilda Dokubo, Kenneth Okonkwo, Aisha Yusufu, Peter Obi, and a lot more. I want you to take a look at the words of Kenneth Okonkwo and Aisha Yusufu because she was vibrating and went ahead to dare the DSS, giving them her address that they should come looking for her if they feel she has done anything against the laws of the land. Trust me, that lady, a small body, big engine. <laughs> take a look. Mama Aisha, where are you? Nana Kazori. Yes, so <laughs> make some noise, people. Daddy, Daddy Pio, you see this mama here? He hears when she carries in your menu and she rub every time because she don't read 50. You know, he just wants chicken ears like that too. But every time she could use her and they do the same. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise! Where is Nana? Where's my Nana? Is Nana not here? Okay, Nana is not here. All right. We're going to do this. There are people, young people, young people who came here. All they are going to do in less than one minute is to tell us there are just four of them because they traveled all the way for this. In, they are going to tell us there are one, one value, one virtue greatest takeaway from the 23 general election we we'll just listen to them like i said whether they say nothing or not just yeah just when they appear you know now Permit me to stand on existing protocol. Mahatma Gandhi once said, the things that destroy us are politics without principles, wealth without work, knowledge without character. Why would I not follow a man in the midst of his generation? Is a man of competence, character, and capacity. You have seen how they are giving us renewed hopelessness. Because they are men of wealth without work, politics without principles. They will tell you they have removed oil subsidy, punishing the people. They are paying one trillion subsidy every month today. Why? Why punish the people? They told you they have placed sanctions on the other countries. Today they have removed it. Why did you punish all the northern states? This is the most anti-people government I've ever seen in my life. But I have one joy. That we are not brought in by the Nigerian people. They were brought in through technical glitch. And you know what? From henceforth, nobody is going to technically glitch my election. You know, somebody said it's uh, February 25th, they did what they did. No! It was a premeditated action of perfidy. They did it before February 25th. That was why we were not prepared. But henceforth, Section 39 of the Police Act Every Nigerian citizen has the power to apprehend anybody committing crime in his face. Whoever commits the crime of rigging, we will apprehend the person, we will prosecute the person, we will punish the person. Enough is enough. 
I am an obedient and nobody will tell me to calm down anymore. What we are operating now is no grief for any. Thank you very much and God bless you. Who put them? Who put them? Who put them? Is there any need for me to speak again? He has said it all. Bros, you don't talk and finish. Ha, any need, I should just walk away. Great! Very well. You know, he's waiting no day, no day. If you know be Panato, you know be be like Panato. If you know be Peter, you know be be like Peter or be their father. The same way they respect him. The same way we talk more. We can't do that. Because you know, the oppressors want you to be polite. The oppressors want you to be respectful. The oppressors want you to be nice. Your freedom cannot be won through being nice and being polite. We will say it as it is. And what is happening in this country is what exactly we will say. Yes, so Mr. Peter will be a nice man. Eh? You know he does everything with decorum. You know, so those people will say, but some of us get coconuts here. Yeah, we know they here. We know the grief for anybody. Sister, you take here. Yeah, that is it. Because this country belongs to every one of us. I will say something to every one of us. In seven months, in seven months, you all did what they have been doing for over 60 years and yet you beat them to the game <laughs> just listen again in seven months you will, you did what they've been scheming and doing for over 60 years and you said it can be done without the violence without the rigging by just applying intelligence creativity you all stood and were united they say to us that nigerians can never be united beyond this matter from the south to the north to the east to the west we all came together we all came together irrespective of our religion don't ever forget that there is something called the perseverance test i always say even when you're doing business you make losses but you know the people who succeed the people who in spite of those losses they keep going yes they went out and they rigged we are law abiding we walk within the ambit of the law we will never do anything against the law and so round one to them they rigged it like you've heard the previous speakers nobody will rig ever again in this country who will stand for our votes who would ensure that the judges the justices now i am speaking as a citizen of nigeria i am speaking as aisha yesufu my house is not too far from tss office if they want me they can get me all those justices who decided they were the playthings of corrupt politicians who put it in their face instead of them being the last resort of the common man she they said they want polling unit agents every one of them right guess what every one of us must be ready to be polling unit agents and we will carry our results we will put it in the phone we will go to our pick court we will go to supreme court we will give them every one of those damn sheets that they say they want today everybody is feeling it right they say the obedient people are the ones that will suffer they say we will cry now they come the first 
cry before us. Anyway, when I know say me as I be talk too much, and I know say talk too much, you know people in their forties, they are too, you know they are too, you, you know, but they hurt them. Those of us in our fifties, you know how we do it. Those of us in our fifties, we are calm. By the way, Dr. Mo, you still have three more years to go. <laughs> Greatest obedient people! <laughs> Don't you just love her? Can we say, Aisha, we love you? Kenneth, we love you! Thank you. Come on, make some noise for this one, Dr. Mo. You've seen it for yourself. Now, for the record, I'm not a Labour Party candidate, but the truth is that when we see something, we must say something. You can see for yourself how the economy of Nigeria is gradually dwindling, and these politicians act like they are not seeing what people are saying. Nigerians are lamenting, Nigerians are protesting, Nigerians are crying, Nigerians are shouting, but these politicians go ahead to politicize everything. Perhaps they want us to write it on a billboard or on the sky that your policies are not people who rented. It's exactly what we are seeing in Africa that has now led to the quitting of Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali from ECOWAS. Because the ECOWAS block never looked at policies that will be people oriented. And you can see for yourself that they are already playing the loser's card. A few days ago, the Bola Ahmed Tinubu's led ECOWAS has gone ahead to leave the sanctions on those nations that quitted ECOWAS. It's obvious that they are already playing the losing card. And we keep saying it on these platforms, that these politicians must do well to bring about people-oriented policies. Nigerians and Africans are very patient, trust me, but never push them to the wall. These are all signs to let the leaders know that if you do not change and make things that would better the lives of the people, soon enough, we never pray, but Nigeria may go into anarchy. Where the government will go ahead to give order and people will say, no, we're not interested because you obviously are not interested in our personal development. Please do want to intentionally hit the like button. The reason why we do that is that YouTube is going to be recommending this video for more people to see it. And we believe that either directly or by proxy, these are leaders who get to stumble on this video and perhaps one day wake up from their slumber and do the needful. That's the only way you can also help to support what we do here on these platforms. Many thanks indeed to all our viewers and returning subscribers who did not take it lightly. We also encourage you to also do well to go to the comment section and drop your thoughts. Let's get to know what you think can be the solution regardless of just complaining about the anomalies in Nigeria and in Africa. Let's get to know what you think is the solution to the problems of this nation and we shall continually be here to serve you. Many thanks indeed to all our viewers and returning subscribers. We really do not take it lightly. My name again is Moses and this is Think Tank TV. See you on our next video. Bye for now.